Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Tabs. Today we're going to look at what's coming up in the next updates and then we're going to do some commenter battles. So first, today Landfall uploaded this video of apparently a blacksmith. If everyone's seen my blacksmith simulator video, you can understand why I'm so excited about this thing just crushing a shield. That is uber powerful. As well as the other things coming up, like the Axeman now has an actual kind of swinging motion instead of doing a backflip. That's so cool that I actually kind of want it now. I mean, look at it. It's just so powerful. He even headbutts a guy and just sends them flying and like punches them in mid air punches with an axe. You know what I mean? There's also like this guy. I love the ninja master and the samurai master as like better versions of an already awesome unit and if you've seen the laser sword editions which, which we're going to look at later this guy just rolls through so many things i don't know how anyone is going to beat the the new factions so what they're doing is changing things into factions so that you can so that they'll all look the same and all have laser swords or all be pirates and stuff like that which will look awesome but how are pirates going to fight jedi hopefully we'll be able to mix it up like we can now with pirates and jedi on the same team because that's even more awesome by the way can you tell that i had my hair cut today uh, it's very shiny Look, look at that side parting. I never normally do that, but, you know, just for today, being very dapper. I'm going to take a guess and say that these rapiers are going to be on the pirate team, because that's totally like fencing, going, ha-ha, what-ho, and, and fencing against the swordsmen. Like, even, even the swords wobble. If you could see that, hang on, I'm going to go back to a bit earlier. Right here. The sword just goes and that's really cool. I have a friend who does fencing and I mean that, the, the whole kind of spinning tornado thing isn't normally what you do in fencing. Either way, very, very cool. And if it's more powerful than a swordsman, the pirate, the pirate team are going to be very difficult to beat, especially with the old, fa the old fashioned, I say old fashioned. The older units. This is probably my favorite of all of the update videos because the Pharaoh is just sitting here like, you must worship me. And it's just a normal peasant at the moment, but it's going to have some kind of Pharaoh, uh, I can't, can't, you know, the hat, the golden hat. Tutankhamun, eat your heart out. You can't squish a whole bunch of barbarians. They just go boom. And I, I really like the fact that the Huacha does a similar thing when, you know, people fall over, but then they get back up. It it's, seems silly, but it adds kind of like a, an unsure element of, oh, are they going to get up? Are they? But they might not get up if you've got other units as well as the Pharaoh, which is definitely going to be very, very expensive to, to put down. This is going to be an awesome unit to try out combinations with. And as I say that, combinations are going to be very important for units like this. The Neon Faction? Anti-air missile lasers. Look at that! Is that going to be powerful enough to... To defend against an M16, we'll see, because I know from my free previous video, everyone's like, oh my goodness, the most powerful is an M16 from far away. Not if this ar is around. And this in combination with other units, like um, your own range stuff, you might be untouchable. I don't know. If you have a whole bunch of... Uh, what what would you even use? Like Vikings? Would you just charge Vikings at at these just to make sure <laughs> that you've got some fodder before you eventually get there and hack them apart? They've got to be super expensive, hopefully hopefully. And what's up with their heads? Have they got googly eyes or are they just 
kind of doing a Shia LaBeouf and putting bags over their heads. They're like, we've got neon instead of faces. I hope that that's true. I Like, a Tron faction is going to be awesome. And, like, these anti-projectile things? This game is starting to get weird, let me tell you. I don't know. Like, all of the u- new units, especially some of the super-powered ones, like the, the Dark Peasant, they all seem super overpowered. And they're a ton of fun, don't get me wrong, but like in combination with more overpowered units, it's going to be very interesting to see exactly how they all work together and like can defeat each other in different circumstances. This, however, (laughs) I don't even know how you would use this. Actually, no, I do have an idea. Oh god, they got lasers as well as laser swords, long range lasers, short range lasers, lasers everywhere. At the moment, they don't have gun models, they've just got bricks. Maybe that's what, what laser guns look like in the future, who knows? But, I mean, the barbarians, they have never seen this. They're barbarians, they, they're not laser trendy people. But let's have a look at the beginning of that video, because what's most important here is a backpack that looks kind of like the anti-projectile thing. But it gravity warps like black holes all of these barbarians into the center. I don't know what happens to the unit when it's done, but if you had that and then a washer behind it and then everyone just gets sucked into a big glom of arms like the ending of Inside. Oh, sorry, spoilers. Uh, if you had a watcher and it just went blah, 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 with all the arrows, two units and you might win the battle. I'm interested to see, or when the update comes out, I have no idea when that will be, how heavy the things it can drag together are so if you've got like a chariot or like how far away it is or if you've got some ballistas right at the back that you want to get to maybe that will draw them all the way across the map but this thing does it float in the middle of the air oh no oh no it just kind of gets swept up (laughs) oh yes that's what i'm talking about that's what i mentioned this is these are all on the landfall games YouTube account, by the way. So if you want to watch these by yourself or um, have any ideas about how you might use these units together in combination uh, when the update comes out, let me know in the comments. The other faction, aside from the Neon One's factions, is the Pirate Faction. Apparently he's got a big stick with a square on the end and a big block that it's probably going to be some kind of pistol. That's an, that's a completely different combination of, of stuff. Like, he's going to be pistol whipping people and then thwacking them around the head. And, I mean, the Viking has two, a shield and an axe, but no one has a long range and a short range thing. Like, once you get into combat with a pirate, it's going to be missing with the pistol all over the place, unless it has two, in which case it might not matter. You know, fire a lot, never miss. That's my motto. Fire a lot, never miss. Um, you got to make sure you've got lots of ammo. That's probably never going to be a problem in tabs. No one's going to last that long. <laughs> These are what? Going to be... Oh, I just thought. These are going to be like hand cannons. These are going to be like hand cannons. They're just going to rip them off the the pirate boat. Maybe there's a pirate boat. Maybe they all jump. That would be awesome. Just one huge unit that just... If anyone's played Dota... Is it Kunker? Not Kunker. The cat... The cat pirate captain. Just one huge boat. Driving its way across the field, smashing through everything, and then each faction has its own thing. Like the uh, the uh, neon ones have a UFO, probably. I'm making this up, but <laughs> that would be cool. But hand cannons, just pillage a pirate ship, rip them off the floor, 
and and can carry them around in your hands because I'm sure they're not that heavy. That's all we have for the updates. Let's get to the commenter battles. Logan Morrill suggests that we do America versus Korea in boxing. As I mentioned in a couple of previous episodes, I really like Ip Man. So if we do uh, 15 boxes on each side, well, not boxes, but Taekwondo versus boxes. Uh, wait, well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I really have no idea who's going to win here because the boxes are pretty good as basic units go. They're about my favorite one that's just up from the the um, peasant. If you swarm peasants, obviously you're going to win. But Taekwondo just got ruined there. Is it? I'm going to do it like best of three. So Taekwondo, you've got another chance. Because I always thought the Taekwondo people were really awesome in this game, and they are. But not against the boxers. Two out of three. Boxers win. Yang Wang has the idea of doing God versus Hell in a battle to the death of basically Vikings plus the Samurai Master and Ninja Master and obviously the Dark Peasant because Master of the Underworld versus the uh, Chicken Man, the Super Boxers, a Trump and a Hillary which, uh, hmm, well, it's your decision Yang Wang and then some, uh, oh, a Super Peasant I don't, yeah, they're bugged so they don't work properly but Hopefully the, the sortie people will do a good job. Oh yeah, and an M16, obviously. Blam, 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 blam. Wow, it's just a light show. Trump, Hillary got squished because the, the Dark Peasant's just so good. The Dark Peasant is just so good. And there are, I think I put out, I tried to make it even on money. And these, um, these Vikings, Clearly, uh, heroes of, uh, what's it, like Ragnarok or whatever, the Viking thingy. Whoa, are you just missing? Wow, the M16, not so good against close range things that are running away. Who knew? I've clearly got everyone, including Fantastic Fates, into a kind of martial arts mood. This is supposed to be Bruce Lee, the golden gloved uh, martial artist boxer. Uh, I can't remember what Bruce Lee did. Was it Wing Chun? I think so. Anyway, versus thieves and the uh, Taekwondo martial artists. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I know who's going to win. Bruce Lee, just so good. So many amazing films. I, I really like um, Jackie Chan's um, kind of comedy martial art films more. Like, Drunken Master is... An absolute masterpiece. It's so cool. It's just so fun. Bruce Lee, though. So many really kick-ass fight scenes. Ah, oh, yeah. Obviously, this super boxer isn't doing exactly what Bruce Lee would do. He doesn't do the kind of muscly, oiled-up kind of... <sighs> um, but he's pretty good. Look at that. Pow, right in the chest. Pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. Uh, and his his arms are a little more bendy than Bruce Lee's, maybe. Actually, I don't know all that much about Bruce Lee's. <laughs> the googly eyes, sometimes they just get me. <laughs> Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. Yeah, jump kicks Bruce Lee, okay. You finally got that guy done? There we go, super boxer, wham. That was awesome. Thank you, everyone. Let me know how good my hair is in the comments. Obviously, I just got it cut, so it's all shiny and stuff. No, in the comments, what you can tell me is your armies for either one of these. I just Googled it. Bruce Lee did learn Wing Chun, but then he founded his own martial art, Jeet Kune Do. It's pretty cool.